Elon Musk in a Twitter battle over public transportation. He told Wired magazine this, and I'm quoting, it's a pain in the blank. That's why everyone doesn't like it. Talking about public transportation here. There's a bunch of random strangers. One might be a serial killer. So that's why people like individualized transportation that goes where you want, when you want. Okay, that's what he said. Jarrett Walker is a public transit policy consultant, and he responded with this. In cities, Elon Musk's hatred of sharing space with strangers is a luxury that only the rich can afford. Letting him design cities is the essence of elite projection. Well, Musk responded to that. He says to Walker, you are an idiot. Jarrett Walker joins us now. Uh, Jarrett, welcome to the program. Why don't you respond to the idiot statement? Go. Well, thank you, Stuart. It's great to be here. <clears throat> Listen, what's going on with Elon Musk's statement there, and the reason it has caused such an enormous backlash, is that he's describing a set of, of values that just don't work in the dense city. I think many Americans probably agree with the quotation you just read from, from Mr. Musk. Um, many Americans live in suburban areas. They drive cars almost everywhere. In that kind of life, you don't encounter random strangers as much as you do in the big city. But this is a conversation about the big city. And in the big city, there just isn't room for everyone's car. It's not a cultural thing. It's simply a geometric thing. There isn't room. So every big city in the country is trying to make it easy for people to get, to get around without cars. Now, the, the problem with Elon Musk's comment, then, is that it's an attitude that doesn't make sense in urban life, in big city life. Yeah. Uh, the big city is the presence of random yeah. strangers. That's what a city is. Well, but, and but, but, but surely public transportation depends on density of population. It just doesn't right. work financially if you've got one little car to every single person who wants to get around a big and densely packed city. It doesn't work economically. You have to have the presence of total strangers next to you. There's no way around it, <laughs> I don't think. Exactly. And this goes, this is really about the Boring Company, which is Elon Musk's project to build a new kind of subway in dense cities. And his idea of a subway is that, yes, there are little pod cars that may have 8 or 16 people in them, but it's very important to him that there also be a way to put your own car into the subway and take your car where you're going. It's a lovely idea, but it makes no geometric sense because the amount of space a car takes in the subway is probably about 50 times what a person takes, and, um, and you'll run out of capacity very quickly. Mm. So, again, the, the comment about random strangers is so interesting because, not just because cities are the company of random strangers, most people who choose to live in cities like the company of random strangers. If you didn't, you wouldn't live there. <laughs> and the other thing we have to remember, if you're coming at this from a suburban perspective, is that you may not like Manhattan, you may not like walking down the street in Manhattan and dealing with all these random strangers, but if Manhattan were such a terrible place, it wouldn't be so expensive to live there. The market is absolutely screaming at us to build more dense cities because the, because the, um, the desire to live in dense cities is just insatiable right now. You know, for a man who's being called an idiot, you make a great deal of sense, yeah. Mr. Walker. I, mean, I have to tell you that. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's yeah. great to have you on board. So I wish Thank I had you. more time because I'd love to discuss the idea of private enterprise running public transportation in cities. Uh, I, look, for, as an aside, I used to live in Hong Kong, which is the most densely packed city on this planet, and they had the best public transportation system I've ever seen anywhere. But that's for another day. Uh, Jarrett, thanks for joining us. Very interesting conversation, and you'll be back, sir. Thank you very much.